The B-1B Lancer bomber keeps flying. The old bone is flying on borrowed time. That is a fair assessment of the state of the B-1B Lancer strategic bomber, an aircraft that almost never was, but became one the United States Air Force couldn't have lived without. After becoming the service's workhorse during the global war on terror time has taken a toll on the airframes, and the B-1 will be retired as the B-21 Raider enters service later this decade. It was just a year ago that Air Force Global Strike Command retired the last of 17 B-1B bombers from its inventory, leaving a fleet of 45 aircraft that will serve until the new B-21 stealth bomber is ready for duty, the command announced. Enter the Bone the variable sweep wing bomber was developed to conduct high speed, low altitude penetration missions, back when the Boeing B 52 Stratofortress was the king of the skies and conducted combat operations over the jungles of Vietnam. The Lancer, known as the Bone as its designation was B 1, took its first flight in December 1974. At the time, it was a major leap forward in aviation design and while smaller than the Stratofortress, its advanced engines and high-lift variable sweep wing allowed it to carry twice the weapon load at a much greater distance and higher speed. Changing Role While the B-1 was originally designed for nuclear capabilities, the aircraft were switched exclusively to a conventional combat role in the mid-1990s under the conventional mission upgrade program. This was brought on by the collapse of the Soviet Union and the end of the Cold War, and President George H. W. Bush ordered the $3 billion refit, which included the removal of nuclear arming and fusing hardware, while provisions under the New START Treaty required additional modifications to be made to prevent nuclear weapon pylons from being attached to the aircraft, 